I'm um, Jenny Byram, I'm a consultant obstetrician and gynaecologist uh, here at the Birmingham Women's Hospital. I've been the lead for the colposcopy service since the end of 2012, but I have worked um, in the colposcopy service here at this hospital since 2000. And um, two, we see on average about 1,500 new patients a year, and obviously follow ups on top of that. Well, colposcopy is quite a subjective um, specialty. Um, it's relying on the person there that's um, looking at the cervix and it's what they're seeing, um, which is difficult to measure in a scientific way. Um, we know that at the high end of the spectrum that we're good as colposcopists, so that if we have a high grade um, cytology, if we think that it looks like high grade disease on the cervix, then it usually is. However, we know from many studies that we're not so good at the low end of the spectrum, so we quite often miss high grade disease. So something that helps us identify where it might be uh, the best place to take a biopsy or to identify where disease is will help us manage those patients better but also give reassurance to women at the lower end of the spectrum. We chose to use Z-Scan here as our adjunct at the Women's Hospital um, mainly because of the science behind its development. So Z-Scan measures electrical impedance in the cervix and that is something that we're not seeing with our eyes. Um, so it's measuring something different to what we see with the application of aceto white. So it's giving us more information um, and this may be more um, accurate in certain circumstances, particularly perhaps in non um types 16 and 18 HPV related disease. So uh, in addition to that, the benefits of using the Z-Scan in the clinic are that it's a, a quite a neat device. Um, it's not painful for the patient. It takes uh, a minute or so extra for the examination. Most women tolerate it well and um, it gives you an immediate result. So you take the readings, you can see on the device um, where there may be any abnormalities. For us as clinicians, the immediate result um, is helpful. And also using it systematically as a clock face on the cervix, it helps us direct biopsies. Uh, when um, they introduced uh, primary HPV screening in 2019 across the country, uh, they, from studies from the pilot centres have shown that we're going to see an increase um, in referrals to colposcopy up to 30%. Um, this will have an impact on most colposcopy services and I think adjuncts, um, particularly Z-Scan, will be very useful in helping to um, streamline the services so I think we are going to be seeing a lot of women at the lower end of the spectrum and um, Z-Scan will be able to help us be more confident about discharging women back um, to the community either for follow-up cytology in 12 months or back to routine screening. When we've um, validated Z-Scan in our department it showed that we were picking up over 20% of high grade disease that we'd have missed with colposcopy alone and if we're seeing more numbers then we don't want to be missing high grade disease we want to get those women um, identified so that we can treat them and get them back to normal more quickly um, than perhaps we would do without the use of Z-Scan. When women have had um, a, a referred with a, a low-grade abnormality. Um, the important thing for us as colposcopists is, is to identify those women that could be discharged back to routine recall, so those women were just with HPV um, associated changes, um, but also we don't want to miss anybody with any high-grade disease that we're potentially discharging back who could get worse. The Z-Scan does help us identify those women who might have high grade disease and help us identify who we should be biopsying and where we should biopsy. The additional benefit of being able to reassure patients and discharge them is that we're freeing up follow-up appointments. Um, from our validation with Z-Scan it's shown that we will reduce the number of women that we are bringing back for follow-up. Um, obviously that's good for the patient, they don't want to keep coming to the, the colposcopy clinic. Studies have shown that women who attend colposcopy clinics for whatever reason have high levels of anxiety and if we can minimise that 
that's great for the patients but also it's good for our clinics and with the introduction of primary HPV screening and pressure on clinics it means we can free up slots for new patients we could then use some of those freed up our patient slots either for vulval clinics or rapid access patients. So when we were looking at um, adjuncts to colposcopy and particularly to Z-scan, uh, we performed a validation study first um, because these devices do incur a cost to the trust and I, most trusts are under financial pressure and not keen to give you money unless they're going to see a cost saving. Silico have been are very helpful in analysing the data and showing where those cost savings can be made and that can be extremely um, valuable when you're discussing things with business managers and particularly financial teams. If they can see that there's going to be a cost saving in introducing these devices then they're going to be much more likely to say yes you can have this device. Um, no, it's not just about the clinical benefits, it's about saving money for the trusts or, or generating um, an outpatient appointment that can be used for something else and that in turn generates money for the trust.